national team with Merle Hodge a while back, along with his brother. Uh, I've got some published articles out there on what he would play, running back play, three by one formation. Uh, quarterback, I missed that, I think I'm not sure. I did I did four of them. Um, they're out there under gridiron strategies is what it's called. If you want to Google my name and put that in there, you can read the articles. Um, I'm going to go over pressure points really for, quick here because I, I, I think most of you guys understand pressure points. But I just want to show you some of what defensive coordinators are doing trying to defeat pressure points. Okay. Um, and I use this because I want the ball back. Okay, again, we, split, we like to split. Pressure point here, pressure point here. Forearm, bicep, and ribs. Okay. You always hear it high and tight, and that is true, high and tight. Okay. So I'm trying to whack that ball, make sure those kids get it. Okay. The biggest pressure point that everybody forgets, and the most important, is the head. <laughs> you remember to do them. Okay. This is the pressure point, the head. Make sure you got it in your kid's head. Well, pressure points, because four games in the season, you, you might get complacent, you might forget about pressure points. So will they, okay? They'll forget about it. Make sure you go over it every now and again with them to remind them, okay? Um, what, what the defensive coordinators are now doing, and I really like this, is that when, you know, kids do it, they gang tackle, they come up, and this kid's trying to get away, you know, and kids are driving on them, and you're like, why don't you go after the ball, go after the ball while you're doing that? Well, you do this. He's coming through, you take this hand, one of the kids that's not tackling, takes the hand and goes, wham! You really gotta practice this, okay? And then you come through and, and knock it out, okay? It, it looks simple enough to do, but it really takes a lot of repetitions for the kids to get it in their head and to do it on game day, okay? It really takes a lot of repetition for something so simple. I, I know from experience that I, I do it in the beginning of the season and it doesn't, I swear to God, the seventh and eighth game, they finally got it. But anyways, but that's good. They go to high school with it, okay? And boom, and out, okay? Uh, real nice technique. I'm gonna use the, uh, the wheel drill here. Some people call it the star drill. It's a staple for running backs. But it's, it's really effective for uh, coordination, balance, agility. There's several things you can do with it. You can go two feet in, you can go one foot in, you can cross over. Uh, AJ's just going to do two feet in, and I'm going to say switch, and he's going to switch and go around, and then I'm going to say find me. So you as a coach, when you say find me, stand here, then move it over there, then move it over there, move it over there. Make them find you, okay? So AJ's going to go around there, go! Switch! Find me, find me, find me, find me, find me! And he's going to make a move when he finds me, okay? Don't waste that when he finds you just to stop. Make him do a jump cut or a spin move when he gets to you to reinforce all that stuff. Speaking of jump cuts, I'll use this star drill for jump cut training. I would start with this first before we go to the more advanced drill, and I'll show you guys that. So tell them to go really slow. They jump cut in, jump cut out, jump cut in, jump cut out, jump cut in, jump cut out, in, out. In, out. Really simple, but that's where they need to start. Right there is jump cut in and out. So you always want to tell your kids, everybody, every kid's going to be different on their jump cut. You're going to see it. You come in, you want, I want to see. Boom. Boom. I want them to be able to move laterally, explosive, make that defender wrap up there. And it's great when it happens. Because their kid will be coming up there and he just, and wrapping up air and it's nice. So put the time in to do that jump cut move. And then we'll add a spin to it, and I'll go over the spin here. We'll do a jump cut, then we'll do a spin, do a jump cut in, do a spin, do a jump cut in, do a spin, and do a jump cut in. Okay. Now the spin, make sure you tell your kids when they do their spin, get their butt low. AJ's a tight end, he's filling in for me for running back, okay? He's doing a good job. Tell your kid to get their butt low. Power angles, power angles, okay? So when they come out of that, there's gonna be a kid, there might be a kid here waiting for him to tackle him. So if he comes out of that in a power angle, he can blow that up. What you'll see kids do, when they do a spin move, they're straight up, and they just get lit up, okay? So if you use, if you, it's like they said in, in the beginning of the, of the 
um, the coach's point today, the little things. It's a little, it is. The, it's a little things. It's get, him, get his butt down, power angles, and come through. It makes your life easier as a coach if these kids know what they're doing. Get you yards, get you touchdowns. And then they know it for high school. They're going to need to know it. Okay. Let's do the reaction drill. And I have two coaches on the... Uh, on the, uh, see how many people over in the I have two coaches on the, uh, on the goal line. Okay. Now you heard that Green Bay Packers street the conditioning coach say use their body weight. Well, here you go. These are perfect drills for it. Yeah. Um, AJ's going to jump over with two feet biometrics, jump over with two feet body weight, and I'm going to say go. He's going to land on this side, he lands on this side, he's getting over this body. You're going to catch this body here. This way or this way. Your kid's got to use a spin move or a jump cut to get out of the way. Okay, so we're doing a lot of things here uh, to make them better. Okay, go. Go. And he used a jump cut to get out of there. He goes the opposite way of the bag. Make him think. <laughs> that one, where are we going? Now he's going to use quick foot fire. Okay, go. Get those feet moving. Get them going. And go. Spin move, got his butt low, and he went down. That was, that was nice. Okay. Now there's a little progression to this drill. You guys come together. You guys don't have a recording device. I got the GoPro on, on AJ, and I'm going to download all this to my Facebook site, Holistic Speed and Vertical Jump Training. So if I miss a drill with you guys, and I got it with another group, you'll be able to see it. Okay, I'll make sure you get everything, okay? Now, the kids like this one too because you throw the, you, you take a bag and you throw it at them at their feet and they got to get over it. It's a body coming at them, just like game day, okay? And then, then these coaches are either move to the right, move to the left, or they're going to split the bags. If they split them, AJ's got to go through the middle, okay? Without breaking his feet, okay? Okay, go. Here's another spin-off of this one. It's a lot shorter now. And through. So if they split them, he's got to go through, okay? And they really like the throwing the bag part. Uh, as I uh, would imagine you would uh, put that together. I over exaggerated. It simulates game condition and it, it's, it's fantastic. Okay, let's do the, uh, let's do, let's do a receiving drill. I need six volunteers to go on that goal line with a partner. So your partner, give yourself space, and uh, the two guys that are, the six guys that are doing it, give yourself a little bit of space. No, you good. I need one more guy to throw the ball. <laughs> now you guys face each other. They come in a little bit closer. Okay. Now one coach is going to catch with his non-dominant hand, and one coach is going to catch with his dominant hand. Okay. This teaches the kid kids to keep, catch with their non-dominant hand and work together and catch a half of a football. Good for one-handed catching and developing the other hand. Okay, and concentration. So I'm going to throw the ball. It's going to come like this. Ball's going to come. Okay. These balls are really sticky and nice. Okay, so they're easier to catch. You know, some youth footballs are uh, a little bit slippery. <laughs> hey, your kids will be really 
bad at this at first, but as you practice it, you'll, you'll, you'll be amazed how good they get at this. Now both you guys face me. Now face your face AJ there. Okay, face AJ, both of you. Now you catch it with like that. Yep, coming up with that end. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> Great drill for concentration and developing that uh, non-dominant hand. Yeah, most of my All right, I'll show you another uh, receiving drill here. I have to go to finger eight off. Work both swing directions. Now full competition. I'll be here. I'll get set. Whatever I'm ready, I'm to go. Yes, you get set. I'm in here. I look between my legs. Okay, we're good. We're ready. Am I throwing? Sure. sure. Finish back here. Finish this day through. Say we go. I'm in here. Who touches me? Simply call this one window. Okay. I got to finish through. Once that concentration, they got to get through a hole. They got to catch it. AJ's going to come through this window. I'm going to throw it to him. Then he's going to come through this window. You're going to throw it to him. He's going to toss it back. He's going to come around this window. Teaches them to get their head around. So when you guys go full pads, they got all the pads on. Let it go earlier. If they hit them in the head, they learn real quick. Well, they got their helmet on, so okay. Hit them in the head to get their hands up. Turn their shoulders and head around to get that ball. Okay? Right in the beginning, go easy. Linebacker's coming in, best case scenario, he comes in, stop, 
I, I want him. I want him to chatter his feet. I don't want big long steps. Okay, so he's gonna come in. He's gonna get down low. He's gonna blow. He's gonna get his hands up in here. Boom. He's gonna roll his hips through. Roll, 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 roll through, through, and blow him up. Okay, that's perfect. If you get your kids to come in, I'll do it here one time. I'm the fullback. AJ's coming in. I come in. Boom. And boom. Roll up. Use your hips because they're real powerful. Okay, get them to do that. Come in. Boom. And you're gonna probably have to start all that way on the on the dummy. Just come on down and boom. And boom. Okay. Just to start them off like that. Worst case scenario, your kid, your, your fullbacks think about his prom date and the prom coming up or the dance that night, and he forgets about his best buddy, the quarterback, who he's supposed to be protecting. So he's like that, I'm coming through, hang on, I'm, I'm eyeing him up. AJ realizes, oh no. Okay, so what he does, last ditch effort, to take this hand, okay, that hand, stick it in his side, he's got to stick it in there, and he's going to want to come in, hit him in the chest, and drive him out. Worst case scenario, you got to teach him that stuff, and go over it, repetition, repetition, repetition. So worst case scenario, coming through, <laughs> I just blew up the quarterback. Yeah. <laughs> Thinking about the bomb, man. Absolute worst case scenario. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I want you to do it. <laughs> worst case. Come through, boom, and drive them back like that. Okay? That's really effective. It looks really easy, but you really got to practice it. Thank you, guys.